Welcome to a journey through steam and steel. Today, we're diving into the world of the top 10 biggest steam engines. Get ready to be amazed by these giants of the rails. Let's fire up the boilers and start the adventure. Named the Big Boy, this Union Pacific locomotive was an engineering marvel of the 1940s, built to conquer the Rocky Mountains. At 132 feet long and weighing 1.2 million pounds, each of the 25 Big Boys boasted a 4884 wheel arrangement, producing 6,290 horsepower and reaching speeds up to 80 miles per hour with a 4,000 ton load. Remarkably fuel efficient, it could burn 22 tons of coal per trip. Despite their massive size, the Big Boy was celebrated for its smooth ride marking a legendary chapter in railway history until their retirement in the late 1950s. Transitioning to the steep gradients of the East, the Chesapeake and Ohio H.A. Allegheny shines as a titan of eastern railroading. Crafted in the 1940s for the challenging Allegheny Mountains, this locomotive, weighing over 1.1 million pounds and stretching 125 feet, showcased the perfect blend of might and engineering finesse. With a 2666 wheel configuration, it produced an unmatched 7,500 horsepower capable of moving a 5,000-ton coal train up sharp inclines with apparent ease. Its high-pressure boiler and innovative design ensured peak thermal efficiency, making the Allegheny a symbol of steam power's zenith, operating until the diesel era's arrival. As we leave the impressive Allegheny behind, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Stay tuned as the Russian P-36 class takes the spotlight next. Dubbed the General, the Russian P-36 locomotives were the zenith of Soviet engineering in the 1950s, embodying elegance and power. These 170-ton, nearly 100-foot-long machines, adorned with a striking red star, were a testament to post-war Soviet industrial might, designed for the vast Russian terrains. Their 484 wheel arrangement allowed for exceptional traction and speeds up to 80 miles per hour. The P-36 boasted a high-power boiler and an advanced steam circulation system, optimizing fuel and water use. And as the last steam giants in Russia, they marked a graceful transition from steam to diesel, showcasing unparalleled efficiency and design. Transitioning from Russia's snowy expanses to the sunlit plains of South Africa, we meet the robust Class 25 NC locomotives, known for their adaptability and strength on challenging African railroads. Emerging in the late 1950s, these non-condensing engines, originally designed as condensers, were modified for efficiency in warmer climates. Weighing 220 tons and extending 108 feet, their 484 wheel configuration enabled them to navigate steep and flat terrains alike. The Class 25 NC featured the innovation Watson Standard Boiler, enhancing steam capacity for lengthy journeys. With a mechanical stoker and large grate area, these locomotives were not only powerful, but efficient, leaving a lasting legacy celebrated by preservationists. Introduced in the 1940s, 
the Pennsylvania Railroad's Q2 locomotive was a marvel of steam technology, boasting a 4464 wheel arrangement for unparalleled power and speed, with a weight of 1.2 million pounds and length of 120 feet, its high-pressure steam system powered through with 8,000 horsepower, making it one of the era's mightiest. Despite a short service life overshadowed by diesel's rise, the Q2's legacy as a pinnacle of steam innovation endures. The Super Mountain U2C Series, introduced in the 1930s by Canadian National Railways, represented the pinnacle of steam locomotion in North America, marrying power and advanced engineering. Weighing about 300 tons and nearly 100 feet long, their 484 configuration was tailored for Canada's varied terrains. Known for their high-capacity boilers and efficient steam use, these locomotives were powerhouses of their time capable of moving substantial freight swiftly and efficiently. Their legacy is marked by their contribution to overcoming Canada's geographical challenges and advancing railway technology. Introduced in the 1950s, the British Railway's Class 9F locomotives were the pinnacle of steam power in Britain, designed for heavy freight with exceptional efficiency. Weighing 140 tons and featuring a 210 wheel configuration, they offered unparalleled traction and fuel economy. Despite a brief service period, the Class 9Fs left a lasting legacy as the zenith of British steam innovation embodying reliability and strength in the twilight of the steam era. The Southern Pacific GS4, a 1940s icon, combined elegance and performance famed for its service with a striking orange and red livery. Stretching over 110 feet and weighing 475 tons, this 484 locomotive reached speeds up to 100 miles per hour, thanks to its 4,800 horsepower engine. Its streamlined design not only enhanced its aesthetic appeal, but also improved efficiency and speed, capturing the essence of a bygone era with its blend of speed and style. The German DR Class 45, a late 1930s engineering marvel, was built to tackle heavy freight with its 200-ton frame and 85-foot length. Its 210 two-wheel setup ensured strong traction, while a high-pressure boiler ranked it among Europe's most potent steam locomotives. Equipped with efficiency-enhancing features like a mechanical stoker and feed water heater, the Class 45 symbolized the height of German steam locomotive technology proving indispensable for transporting heavy goods. The new South Wales Railways Garrett 70 class, introduced in the 1950s, was a hallmark of innovation on the Australian railways. With a unique double-ended design featuring two engines and boilers, these 260-ton, 100-foot-long locomotives were engineered to navigate Australia's rugged terrains. Their articulated design and 482 plus 284 wheel arrangement allowed for exceptional maneuverability on tight curves and steep gradients, making them ideal for hauling heavy loads across the vast rail network. The Garrett 70 class exemplified versatility and power, playing a pivotal role in Australia's resource transportation. And that's a wrap on our steam-powered adventure. 
If you loved discovering these mechanical giants as much as we did, leave a comment with your favorite. Until our next journey, thanks for watching. As our journey at Giga Gear Galaxy concludes, we thank you for joining us in exploring the fascinating world of agricultural and construction machinery. If you're as passionate about these mechanical giants as we are, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us delve deeper into these industrial marvels.